They are beautiful to look at. Man's building blocks. Proteins. They build, repair, and give signals to our bodies. Without them, we would not exist. But to date, our knowledge about proteins is very small. Matthias Ullian wants to change that. He is the driving force behind Sweden's biggest scientific project ever. He is now charting all 20,000 different types of human proteins in what he calls the Protein Atlas. And the reason for doing this is to be able to then create the uh, drugs for tomorrow, the diagnostics tomorrow, but also to understand the biology of human beings in a more basic sense. Every cell contains our genetic material, our DNA and its genes, which are identical regardless of whether the cell is in the skin, kidney or heart. But different cells take on completely different functions. This is due to different genes in the DNA being activated in accordance with the part of the body in which the cell is located. It is the genes that give the instructions, but not for the cells, for the proteins. The active gene is a code for a certain type of protein to be created. This will determine the functions of the cells. The proteins not only affect the cells, but they account for all the activities in the body. They build muscle and connective tissue, catalyze chemical reactions, send signals back and forth, and much more. Matthias and his colleagues want to know where in the body all of these 20,000 proteins are and to understand their functions. Det finns i den här vävnaden kanske 13 14 000 proteiner, men vi har bara färgat ett av dem. Så att på det sättet så liksom lyfts fram ett protein från alla de här 14 000. Eh, och då kan man titta precis på just det proteinet. Då. Och det är väl liksom det som är det unika. Det är ingen annan grupp som gör på det här sättet. Och så här systematiskt går igenom alla människans byggstenar på det här sättet. Då. This project is a huge collaborative effort. Labs from Asia, Europe and the United States are working in cooperation to map all of the human proteins. Here at the Science for Life Laboratory at the Karolinska Institute is where the entire project is based. It is bustling with activity here, a tightly packed space between machines and microscopes. During the last years, there has been a lot of development in new technologies, and we're trying to then use them in our project with new ways to analyze data and generate data, uh, but also new ways to get material for, from patients. And it is with the help of this new technology that they can now find and mark individual proteins. This has led to several major breakthroughs in learning how the body is built one of which was even more surprising than the others. I think one of the most surprising things that we have discovered is the fact that so few building blocks, so few of the proteins, are only expressed uniquely in one of the tissues or organs in the body. When Matthias began the project over 10 years ago, he believed that proteins found in the kidney would differ from those in the brain. But it became increasingly clear that this was not the case. Only about 10% of the proteins are tissue specific. Over half of all the proteins are found everywhere in the body. This is a revolutionary and illuminating finding. The pharmaceutical and research sectors will now have all new tools to work with. Almost all of today's medications are directed against proteins, but so far, they are only targeting 3% of our 20,000 different proteins. If you, for instance, have a treatment for liver disease, the risk is that the protein which the medicine is aimed at is also found in the brain. This can have serious consequences and also explains why many drugs have so many side effects. What we would like to do is, first of all, then to find new protein targets. So we go from the 3% uh, to maybe 5 or 6%. Uh, 
Uh, so finding new targets for, for, for new treatments. The goal of the project is to understand the different proteins' functions and assemblies, and to also provide a protein index for all of the major organs. This will not only lead to the creation of more effective drugs, but also teach us how to treat illnesses properly and to provide answers as to why we get sick. So that is why Matthias studies how proteins behaved in diseased tissues to help doctors make correct diagnoses. We can then analyze these samples and hopefully then find proteins that are a marker for disease and be able then to go back to the physician and say, this patient has this disease, he should be treated, he or she should be treated in this way. 2014 saw the completion of the first part of this project, a map of the tissue locations of all 20,000 proteins in the human body. Everything is compiled in a database and all of it is openly accessible worldwide for free. Within a few years, a new version will be released which shows the proteins' locations in the cells, followed by yet another version which maps the proteins found in diseased body tissue. Altogether, it will result in an archive or database, providing opportunities for massive changes in the production of new drugs and treatments. So then, maybe Matthias's vision is not so far away. Another dream of mine is that we can then create a simple blood test that maybe you take once a year, where you can then find uh, diseases very early on, and also to help the physician how to treat patients. Mm -hmm.